Alrighty guys, um, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at how to install an FPS config for TF2 in 2018. And first I'll go over what a config is. A config stands for configuration. It basically means um, a for every default TF2 that you down like default TF2 file that you download, um, it creates a configuration file, which is the default. When you download a like a configuration file for performance or quality or whatever you want, it changes the configuration, the default one, to better suit your needs. So if you're a competitive Team Fortress 2 player, or if you want better performance, or if you want it to look better, you can download configs based on that. So um, there aren't a lot of guides about this in 2018, so I thought I'd put one out there. What we're going to do first is go to this website. It will be in the description, masterconfig.com. Now, there are a couple really good configs out there. Um, in the early days, Chris's config and Moore's config, um, they were fantastic. Uh, however, nowadays, they are pretty outdated and unoptimized. So we're going to look at master config. The two recent configs are Calmanglia's config and master configs. Um... Both are extremely good. However, Master Configs is easier to download and, according to this benchmark, gets more frames per second. Now, frames per second, if you didn't know, the more, the better. The more frames per second, the smoother your game is going to be. So it says that it will you'll get faster load times in a buttery smooth game at high frames with this config, depending on your setup. It increases hit red registration, which, if you're a competitive TF2 player, is very important. And uh, here's a quality dragger. It says you won't sacrifice quality, which is very fantastic. So you can explore this, look into this. There's extensive customization options and... Now you can download. But before you do this, I suggest learning more. Now, there are a couple steps you need to do to install this. Clean your TF2 install. I wouldn't worry too much about this step, but um, it probably is necessary. Now, this is the important step. You need to download the VPK, the VPK files of your choice and drag them directly into your TF slash custom folder. Now, your TF slash custom folder, go to your file explorer. Go to Windows C or whatever um, main hard drive you're using, program files, ADX, 86, and you're going to scroll down, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF. Now, with Calmanglia's config, you would have had to go through a bunch of steps copying a configuration file, putting it into your custom, making an extra file. However, don't worry about this stuff. This is all you need to worry about. With the VPK file that you're going to download, all you need to do is drag it into this custom folder. It's that easy. Okay, and then you need to set the launch options if this is going to work. Now, these are the necessary launch options. However, you're going to select these, copy, pay, and then paste into Properties of Team Fortress 2, set launch options, and paste into this dialog box. Now, if you want to get a little bit more complex, you can read about DirectX version and optional launch options. If you have, like, a truly toaster PC, which I have. Um, unfortunately, if, if you already have a configuration, you actually can't use it along with this VPK. So, if you want to look more into using both at the same time... Look into this step here, and that's pretty much all you need to know. If you have issues, which I did at first, go here. It's a great help. And finally, when you when a new release comes out, check out the latest release of um, the VPK file and re-download it and put it in your TF slash custom folder. Okay, guys, and then if you need any help, there's also a Discord, Steam group, or a thread that you can... It's has a ton of help options. It's a great config. So if you go to installation, 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 and boom, download the VPK files, and you're going to get to this page. Now, this is where you'll pick your VPK. Um, if you want an ultra, that's absolute maximum quality without caring about performance. Um, that's if you have an absolute beast PC. High, 
Um, like, Ultra would probably be 1070, 1080. Um, maybe this would probably be uh, 1050, 1060 GTX. Those are graphics cards. Um, and then medium, medium low, low, very low. I personally have the low config. Um, and, yeah, I personally have this one. If you don't want to worry about all this stuff, um, you can just download your VPK right here. Here's the low preset VPK. Click on it. I'm not going to show it to you, but you'll download it, and then you'll drag it right into your TF custom folder. Then, once you have all your launch options, you can open Team Fortress 2, and your performance will be 10 times better, especially if you're using Intel integrated graphics like I am. Well, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video, hopefully very soon.